has to be Mount Sports with little money to play with, has to be said. There's going to have Glocks, Peter 50s, and looking like a contact A play. All five players committed towards the A ramp. And this time it's Nico who will be going in first through the smoke with the Glock in hand, seeing what he can do here. But you can see such a passive hold from the CTs this time. Don't need to give anything away. And here comes the execution. Furrer already lining them up, though. Again, that MP9, the sewing machine, stitching everything up. And there's no entry. Fur gets four. Marco on the flank, found by Speedy. So this is actually starting to turn once more and work out in oh! favor. Oh, I was going to say Mount Sports, but Fallen through the wall, gets one at Shadow, a brilliant play. He finds Nex as well. He's on for a 4K if he can find Speedy because he's already had huge impact. And he's got him lined up. He's got him limited. He's forced him away from this bomb, and the defuse is going to come in. My word. Fallen, that was absolutely sick. That shot towards Shadow. And it's Dennis to rotate. They've gotten into the A site. They have the bomb with them. They don't have much utility. One flash, and that's gone. Taco never even got to dispense that. So, a great shot from Nico. I was going to say, they're going to get shot down, but look at Nico. There's no way the bomb plant even comes wow. in. Dennis gets the last kill, but Nico with three incredible shots from the connector. It's cold. going to find Speedy. That'll save quite a bit of space for them. And now that only rifle comes into play. It's Nico lining them up. Fur walks out to take the fight. The bomb planter follows after, and Finex goes down. FNX is going to kick himself for that because he suddenly turned this back in the favor of Mouse Sports. Okay. And X is going to close it out. That was a blunder. Nico once again stepping up massively. It's going to be three of them as well. This could be a fast A split coming in. Nico out of position as well. He needs to be careful as he makes his way towards Shadow. But of course, he finds the headshot. Takes down Fur. Can he make a second? Can't get it just yet. But there it is. Takes down Fallen as well. And the crossfire was there. As soon as Nico made himself viable in that position, Chris J had so much more breathing room. And he turns back and in turn takes the player at Palace. So they cover each other essentially. A good positioning, Cold Zero at the last alive. One versus five, top of the stairwell. Thankfully, no one peeking, so that is successful. Mission accomplished in that sense. Next round secured, but this one still looms in the balance because Cold Zero's got decent position with that P250 to cover off the choke point at jungle. He'll have seen that flash at the top of his screen. Is Dennis going to anticipate this position? Absolutely not. AK grabbed Cold Zero, does the job, but it's FNX that finds Chris J as well. It's all on to Speedy and Nex. This has turned considerably, and this bomb down is buying so much space, it's Cold Zero to get Speedy. It's all on to Nex, and he's going to try and hold this. It's not going to be enough. Fallen comes back in. So there it is, the one AK and the Tech Nine Man, a couple of smokes. That's all it takes. Dennis, you felt like that's a very common spot, doesn't check it whatsoever, and he pays the price for it as well. Luminosity will be going on forward in the upper bracket here and Mouse Sports will go down to face flip side but great game there. These games